I I have given you the breakup in the previous introduction lecture. This chapter comes for eight marks. You have to just determine whether his resident or not. For determining his residential status, just applying this condition. You get you get eight marks. So it's a jackpot for you all. Now now I'll give you exception for this basic condition. exception for basic condition section 6 subsection 1 in the following cases the residential status of the SSC will be determined on the first basic condition that is stay in India for one eighty two days or more and not. on the second condition the cumulative one following are the cases first indian citizen lives india in the previous year for the purpose of employment second indian citizen leaves india in the previous year as a crew member of indian ship please pardon me for my handwriting third indian citizen or a person of indian origin comes to india in previous year for the purpose of visit note down indian origin means who himself or parents or grand parents born in undivided india undivided india india plus pakistan plus bangladesh now we'll do a detail Study on this exceptions of basic condition section six subsection one. In the following case, the residential status of the SSC will be determined on the basis of first basic condition that is stay in India for one eighty two days or more. That is, if a person, if an Indian citizen leaves India in the previous year for the purpose of employment, for the purpose of employment, if this person stayed in India for one eighty two days before leaving for the employment, then he is a resident. then we cannot deny that he is not a resident if indian citizen leaves india in the previous year as a crew member of indian ship crew member of indian ship if this person stayed in india that is from the financial year 1st april 2015 to to the date of 182 days or more that is uh, beyond 4th october yeah beyond 4th october 
if a person stays in india for for more than 182 days then he will be considered as resident in this case only in this three cases only there is no need for calculating the second basic condition the second basic condition won't be applied to this three types of people Pop it down. Now I'll teach you another additional condition. S S C status. Not your Facebook or WhatsApp status. It is this residential, residential or non-residential status. Residential, non-residential. That is resident. That is non-resident. If If an S C C is resident, resident means under section, under section six, subsection one. If he satisfies this condition, if he stays in India for one eighty two days or more, or stays in India for sixty days or more, and stay in India in the last for previous year for three sixty five days or more, if he if he satisfy any of this either condition, then he will call be as resident. If this type, if this, if these three persons are then, then only first basic condition will be applicable and not the second one. If a person is resident, then again the res, again we have to determine whether he is ordinary resident resident ordinary resident or resident. non ordinary resident we have to determine this with the additional condition given under section additional condition given in section 6 sub section 6 this is also very simple in this if the person satisfy both the both the additional condition then he will be termed as resident ordinary resident otherwise resident non ordinary resident r o r R N O R, that is resident non ordinary resident, resident ordinary resident. The conditions are resident. Remember resident. That means you have to first find out the residential status of the S C by using section six sub section one, and after that you have to determine additional condition whether he is resident ordinary resident or non ordinary resident. Resident. in india for at least 2 years out of the last 10 previous year you remember last i i have just now taught you of last excluding the immediate preceding year immediate immediate preceding year so ex, ha excluding the immediate preceding year 
that is the previous year 15 16 excluding the previous year 15 16 we have to take the last 10 years list and if out of that two years out of that two years he is resident then only and the second condition is stay now here we have to see the stay stay in india in last again last last seven previous years for 730 days or more please note down see in the module the additional conditions are given in a complicated manner he is a resident in at least two out of the ten previous year preceding the relevant previous year resident in in at least two out of ten previous previous year preceding the relevant previous year this is a confusing statement just remember this if you write this statement also it will do have you got this resident in at least while determining the residential status now I'll, I'll illustrate a sum to make you understand it better. better. 